goodness, we bring um, after each show, we have special guests to come in, psychologists, um, people that deal with homelessness, um, Durham Crisis Center, and they set up um, tables and answer questions uh, for the audience um, after each production. Well, and could you give the folks the dates of the production as, as well and uh, maybe share a little bit more about your own history? Because I know there are even people that are speculating about what you have in your future and everything because definitely folks know you as being a professor both at Central as well as having taught on the high school level, and there's some folks that may be trying to get you to do other things. So if you'll share a little bit about your own history for those that are listening that may not know as much about you as I do. Okay. Um, well, the production will go up at the Carboro Arts Center. Um, it's October 24th. That's a Thursday. It's night at the clock. Um, and that's when we'll do our production of Going Home. Um, I'm also working on two short films at the moment, uh, which will be starting shooting um, next month. And, matter of fact, we're going to have auditions at the Haita um, Cultural Arts Center. And that will be Friday from 6 to 8. And so those are two movies that we're doing. One is called Running Back, and the other one is called To Feel And so and that's what, are those what we're two working movies? on now. And what are those two movies about? Um, Running Back is uh, the brainchild of Alex Jackson uh, with Jackson Life Productions. And that film is about um, a sort of like a Sankofa piece, about this guy going through the Rice of Passages, through the African-American timeline, stopping in places like um, slavery, civil rights, um, and Black Lives Matter. So just taking that voyage um, as an African, seeing what's happening to African-American people um, through this voyage. So that's running back. And the other one? Um, To Peel or Not to Peel is a comedy. Um, It's about this girl who has the worst day of her life, and she's just really out of it, and she doesn't know if she's going to take pills or not to calm her down or whatever. And this guy, she, well, she has a flat tire on this worst day of her life, and she's changing this tire in the rain, and she's trying to get someone to come help her, lay somebody, and nobody's available. And then this guy pulls up, and he's sort of like an angel figure, and he helps her and tells her positive things about life. And how she, you know, enjoy life, the good and the bad. And he changes her tire and saying he's with AAA, but AAA said they never sent anyone out. So it's kind of like a feel good movie. Oh, both of those sound like wonderful movies. And uh, who knows? You might have to audition Carly. She is a well known actress here in the area. So maybe Carly will have to audition for one of those roles, particularly the one with the lady and everything. I don't know if you have any that fit in her age range and everything, but you'll have to say what the age ranges are that you're looking for, but Carly is definitely a well-known actress here in the community. Oh, yeah, we're looking for all types and all, all types. Um, yeah, we'd definitely love to have her come out and um, come to the audition Friday at Hey Ty from 6 to 8. So I if Carly can make it over there, if she'll... If I'm not- I will check that out if I'm not knee deep in uh, Lisa Simone concert <laughs> details. But right. I know if I don't audition, I'll definitely come come uh, support. I I would love to see it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, she is a big advocate of supporting the arts as well, and I know that sometimes even if she's not in production, she will come out and support those that have done other productions as well. So she is definitely one of those folks that doesn't just do her own artwork, but she's actually, like myself, one that goes out and supports others as well. So, uh, Urban, real quick, and then I definitely want to get time to get that song on from uh, Laura Sue as well, but uh, share a little bit about how you first got involved in acting, because like I said, I've known you since you were a young person, and you've had a long career in acting, but what is it that drew you into the acting career, um, not just the activism part of it, but just acting in general? Um, I think I had this love very early in life, uh, probably about middle school, where I started the theater program at Brockton Junior High. Um, and we performed my first play, which I directed as a student, called The um, Doggy in the Window. <laughs> so ever since then, I've been hooked on, you know, theater and how it can change people's lives. And that's, I guess that's why I do it. 
because I just really like to see people see themselves in different characters that you know people portray. Yeah, so that's where it all started, and then on to high school, and then college at North Carolina Central University, and straight on to today. <laughs> Yeah, so you're still doing some wonderful work in the community. There's no doubt about that. And I'm definitely I'm hoping that folks will check out the uh, production. Um, do you have a uh, Facebook page or a website that folks can know about if they didn't catch that information when you were making that announcement earlier that they can find out more about the show and more about what yeah. you're doing just in general? Yep. Um, you can um, find us at truedreams.us. Um, you can also call us at 919 919- Four zero eight one one seven four, and also we're on Facebook and Instagram, Official True Dreams. Definitely. So hopefully, folks will join those conversations and things of that nature. Um, and uh, Jenny, if you're still on the line, I don't know whether you have folks that are going to want to travel all the way down from Asheville to audition or to come and check out some of the things in Raleigh. But I'm sure that they would not mind if you want to travel that far down to do some of the things that you're involved in in both the triangles and even Dean might even have you come up to the New Jersey area. Sounds fun to me. (laughs) Sounds like she's open to that possibility. Um, Before we get off, and I think we've got about another eight minutes or so, um, definitely I want to hear a little bit more of what Laura Sue is about with the folk song. You have a song that's about dating and it's advice that you give to, I guess, teenagers that are dating and everything. You want to share a little bit about what that song is about? Oh, Dating Tips for Teens? Yes. Is that the one you're talking about? Um, yes. Boy, I wish I had a good recording of that song to, to share with you. That was a, a song I wrote. A friend of mine, um, his girlfriend broke up with him, and um, it just is a song that, that came out of that. It's a very kind of like a retro 50s kind of song. And, again, it's a very fun song about a sad subject of the basic advice that I'm giving him in this song is you know don't sit home by the phone waiting for this person to call you go out and you know have some fun take care of yourself go out in nature you know get some sun except set in a very sort of rhythmic you know lyri- lyrical kind of way um and um that's yeah that's a and that's a song I'm actually still intending to record one of these days I used to play it a lot still playing it and uh need to need to get that song out into the world that's that's a, one of my favorite songs that i've written yeah because that was that was one of them that you sent us down so uh you want to would you prefer that one or would you prefer to, to hear ugly duckling because i also have ugly duckling as well oh or you're you're talking about against the law i think not date not dating tips for teens you're talking about against the law um I don't know. Tell me which one you prefer, and I'll tell you about the song. Against the Law is a gay rights rock song that is based on some actual experiences that I had uh, in my life and also experiences of others. And, again, it's a sort of a fun, up-tempo song about something that's not so fun. And uh, Ugly Duckling is an instrumental, a uh, Latin jazz song melody that that came to me and... um, I wrote the song, and then after I wrote it, I couldn't think of a name, so I played it for friends, and one of my friends gave me that name, and that's the perfect name because it's really about that that uh, story of, you know, thinking that you're not worthwhile and over time coming to have some self-confidence and believe in yourself and realize that you're really a beautiful swan and, and not an ugly duckling that so many of us experience, so many of us have. So, uh, well, you, you know, we like separate. to talk about different <laughs> social issues, so let's go with Against the Law. Okay. And if Please. I can just say maybe one one more thing about that. I mean, that song was in part based on my personal experiences, but my politics around that issue, really, it's not about me. You know, to me, gay rights, women's rights, all that, it's civil rights, and it doesn't matter what my personal situation is. But, you know, everybody deserves the right to love who you, you love. And, you know, that's a human rights, a civil rights issue. So it, it really doesn't matter, you know. It's not about who I want to sleep with personally. This is, you know, this is about everybody to me, this issue. Definitely. 
So, uh, Dean, drop against the law, and then I might have time for a roundtable quick response uh, to just a general thing, depending on how long this song lasts. But if you could, hit against the law. We got three minutes, 45 seconds. Here it is. I really want to ask you for a date. When you smile at me, I feel just great. Just one little thing that makes me hesitate Something that I heard about the laws of this fine state Did you know that you could be arrested Just for loving somebody who looks a lot like you Did you know that your rights could be But I don't feel prepared So much hatred in the world today Makes it difficult to be gay That probably uh, Nina and uh, even Lisa Simone could relate to that song in the sense of it being an activist song. What do you think, Carly? Uh, yeah, I definitely think um, she could she could definitely relate to that to the words of that song for sure. Of um, you know, wanting to live her life how she wants to live it, and uh, so that's that's definitely a relatable topic for sure for a lot of people. Yeah. It's like who you are is against the law. Yeah, still have some problems with that. I I have to just add, that is all women musicians, engineers. That was a whole women-made production. And if you look on my website, look for the Night Rainbow Project. It has all the credits and everything, all the people who played on and uh, produced that. That's so great. That was a great effort, and that was definitely some powerful messages. And as uh, Urban just said earlier, definitely any time that we can 
find ways to address issues.